Now I gotta close the door. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie. And on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, you can see we're in a different location here. And that is because we're gonna show you guys how we do our vegan grocery shopping today with our non-vegan mom. <laughs> and really, it's not that hard. You might think that you're gonna be shopping just for tofu and, you know, carrot sticks, but we're gonna show you some really interesting products that we pick up and use every day. Really excited about taking you on our journey to the grocery store. We're hoping that we're gonna debunk some of the common vegan grocery shopping myths that it's too expensive, you have to go to like 50 different health food stores to get all your groceries done, and that you're gonna be eating tofu all week. So if you guys wanna see how we do our vegan grocery shopping, keep watching. And before you go to the grocery store, Always have your list. Yeah, make sure you have your grocery list. We usually just keep ours on our phone and our notes, and then we check it off as we go along. Okay, so off we go to the grocery <laughs> store. mozzarella cheese slices. The Superstore is great for lots of cheese alternatives for us. And, um, that's really wonderful when we make pizzas or sandwiches. It's really yeah. that well for us. My favorite things ever, unseen coconut yogurt. This retails for $4, which is a bit pricier, I would say, for yogurt. But maybe we have other ones here. They're all about $4, too. But I love this in my smoothies. I love it for breakfast. Love it making sauces. You can make sauces for tacos, for wraps. Yep. Really good. Love the coconut yogurt. It's a great flavor. Yes, good coconut. Kombucha. Awesome. And it's also really reasonably priced at the superstore. Kombucha is another great thing to pick up when you're grocery shopping. It has awesome benefits for your gut, making sure you have a healthy gut. Yeah. This one's my favorite so far. It's the Trilogy brand, but my mom also likes those. I love the rice. And these retail for about $3. $4. And in my opinion, it's way better to drink one or two of these a week than to grab a $1 pop every day. Right. Pop that. Yeah. Nutritional yeast. Super, super important if you're vegan. This is what gives all of your dishes like the cheesy flavor. If you're vegan, you know what nutritional yeast is. If you're not vegan, pick this up at the grocery store. It's a little expensive here. I think it's $9. But you can also go to the bulk barn and buy it in bulk, right. which will help you save a little bit of money as well. And then the last thing we like to get in the natural foods aisle is tempeh. And tempeh is delicious when we marinated it or fried it. It's versatile, it's a great source of protein, and it's only $3.99, guys. Think about how expensive chicken and sausage and all those other meats are when you get your protein for $3.99, and it's so simple to make, and it tastes delicious. And good for you. Yeah. There is a smoky strip one. So this is like a bacon tempeh. This is wonderful if you're making a BLT sandwich. Yeah, which is exactly right. And I think we did a little bit of yeah. So we'll link that in here if you guys want to see our thoughts on the vegan BLT. We need bananas. So then we usually always get cauliflower. It's awesome in tacos. For meat, it's good to roast in soups. Uh, overall, just some wonderful vegetables. We always, always, always pick up cauliflower. organic just as far as that 
you're going to have a less risk of having pesticides in your fruits and vegetables, but the risk of pesticides is not actually eliminated, it's just a lower risk of it. The most important thing is getting your fruits and vegetables, so don't worry about buying organic at the grocery store if you can't afford it. Just make sure you always wash vegetables and fruits before you eat them, regardless of them being organic or not. Yes, we always get avocados, we love avocado toast, we like guacamole and our tacos. Avocados are a must, and they're not that expensive here, they're only $4 for a pound. Vegetable broth is also another thing that you should always pick up at the store, especially when they're on sale. Two dollars now. We put this in our soups. I keep a supply of this in our pantry, so I'm never down yeah. with one of these boxes. Yeah, it's important. Sparkling water is a lifesaver. It makes water exciting. It helps us drink our water. So we drink sparkling water all the time. Our whole family. Yeah, it helps you with keeping your hunger in check. In check. Yeah, because sometimes you're really just thirsty. Not at all. Black beans are great for burrito bowls, and chickpeas are wonderful for salads and curries. So always pick up some beans. All natural peanut butter, and it's amazing because that's all that's in here. No sugars, no preservatives. It's a staple, and it's something that we have every morning. Yeah, and it's really inexpensive as well, and way better for you than this crap. Don't buy the smooth peanut butter. Oatmeal, one of my favorite things to have for breakfast in the morning. Really high in fiber, super good way to start your day, and also so inexpensive. These are the ones that we usually have on hand at our house at all times. Yeah, we all have our favorites. So always get frozen berries because we love having them in our smoothies, yep. defrosting from the fridge to put on top of our oatmeal. Frozen berries are just great things to have on hand, so these are the ones we're getting today. These are on the gallon. Frozen yeah. berries and frozen berries. Ota Ben and Jerry's has an amazing vegan ice cream. Like, out of this world, you cannot even tell that it's vegan, so always pick up some Ben and Jerry's when you're at the store. Here's a really good tip. Do not shop in the frozen food section. It's garbage, it's just chemicals, it's processed, and it's super bad for you. Stay in the natural aisles and really shop carefully and look at the ingredients. I just saw cheese curds, guys, which is disgusting. <laughs> so unless they have a good deal on their nuts and seeds at the Superstore, we usually buy all of our nuts from the Walmart just because it's cheaper, it's cheaper than ever. But you can also pick them up here if you want, probably save you a couple bucks. Okay guys, so some common misconceptions when it comes to something's vegan. Marshmallows aren't actually vegan. These are maple flavored marshmallows and they contain pork gelatin, guys. How disgusting is that? Pork gelatin. And who needs a maple flavored marshmallow? Do not buy these, please, I beg you, don't buy them. So that is how we do our vegan grocery shopping. We obviously didn't get everything that we usually use to make food throughout the week um, because this was like a smaller shop for us. But as you can see, it's really affordable. There's so many options in your local grocery stores for you to buy vegan products and healthy products that are gonna fuel you. And also don't be afraid with some of the products that might be a little bit more expensive, but they last a long time, so over a month. Yeah. So it's not like you're shopping for a week. Exactly. If you guys enjoyed this week's video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday and we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye guys.